Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue Right. I'm Malcolm Reed. Today we're going to be talking turkey. I've got this big 18 pound turkey that we're going to tackle today and I'm going to show you some easy ways or some good tips on how to cook it a little bit faster to make it easier if you don't have a big smoker or if you're pressed for time. I'm going to spatchcock this turkey. I've got some good seasonings. We're going to get on the outside of it. We're going to melt some butter with some herbs and use that as a base to really get that skin nice and golden. We're going to cook it all on a Memphis wood fire pellet grill. Let's get to cooking. So let's first talk about the turkey a little bit. I went to the supermarket and bought this one last week because I knew it was going to take it a long time to thaw out in the refrigerator. So anytime you're cooking a whole, whole turkey, most of the time they're going to come froze and you're going to have to give some time for them to thaw out. It's always best just to let them do it on their own in the refrigerator. It takes several days to do it, so just put it in there and forget about it. Now when you're ready to cook it, if you're pressed for time, this recipe is going to be great for you because spatchcocking does two things. It helps you speed up the cooking process a little by eliminating the cavity that's on the inside. And it also lets all the pieces, the breast, the thighs, the leg quarters, all that cook at the same rate. So I've thawed my turkey out, I've rinsed the cavity out, took the neck, any giblet bag that's in there, took all that out, disposed of it. You can save it for stock if you want to. I've even thrown away the little pop-up thermometer that's in it. I don't use those. I'm going to use a good probe thermometer to watch these temperatures. And I also pulled out the little plastic piece that holds the legs and the tail and all that together. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that tail off. We don't need that. You can save it for stock as well. And then we're going to turn the turkey over so we can see the back. Just get it spread out, laying out on your board, and you can see the back just runs right down the middle. And we're going to use some kitchen shears, and we're just going to go in and cut the backbone out of the turkey. You got to cut through some bone, just stay kind of right to the side of it. It's real easy to do. So we just made one cut all the way down the backbone. You can see it separated. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, and a good pair of kitchen shears makes easy work of it. Take your time. So now we remove that backbone completely. We're just going to set it to the side and then we're going to take our knife and we're just going to make a cut right down the breast. And that just splits that bone where it'll lay open. So I'm starting out with it skin side down and what I'm going to do is take some paper towel and just kind of dry out the cavity, the skin, anything that's on the inside because I want to get some seasoning on it as well. So I'm going to hit the surface here with just a little olive oil cooking spray, something to help the rub stick. And it's kind of a liquid fat that's going to brown up on the inside. And we're going to layer some seasonings in there. Now for this smoked turkey, I like that salt, pepper, garlic. So I'm going with my AP first. It's just a good foundation of savory notes. Now I'm going to come back on top with another savory rub that's got a little bit of sweetness to it. And I'm going to use the Mississippi grind. You could use any rubs you want, any combinations, whatever kind of flavors you want to have on your turkey. Make that recipe your own. The grind has some coarser seasonings in it. You can see a little bit of sugar, but it's got a lot of herb in it. So it's really, really great with poultry. Now I'm going to flip this turkey back over and I'm trying to keep one hand clean so bear with me. Grab some more paper towel and we're going to dry the skin. We want to get that moisture off of it. If any rub got on it from when we flipped it, that's all right. But the idea of drying the skin is that so it browns so it doesn't stay rubbery. And the olive oil spray helps it brown as well. So we're going to hit the skin side, that top side, a little bit of the olive oil. Get the wings, get the breast, help that rub stick. Now we're coming with the savory flavors, salt, pepper, garlic. And we're gonna stay with that savory profile using this Mississippi grind. Spread the wings out, get a little on them. Get up in the nooks and crannies. So I've got the outside of the turkey where I want it. Now we're gonna put some flavor on the inside. Now, if you've got plenty of time, a brine is the best way to do this. You can even brine and inject. But today, to save a little time, I'm just gonna hit it with an injection. I've mixed up some of Butcher's Bird Booster injection. It's just two cups of water, one level scoop of mix, whisked it in a bowl, and I'm just using a cheap turkey injector to put some flavor on the inside. I'm gonna hit it in the breast, inject in, pull out, squeeze in. You can see it blow it up. You just wanna hit it a few times, move the injector around. And you could use any injection you want for this. I've got several on the website. Any of those would be great. We're gonna get the legs. We wanna shoot up the thighs. Just move it all around. We wanna cover the whole bird. I'm even gonna shoot some in the wing as well. Go right down that wing. Look at that, stand that wing up. You don't think that thing's full of moisture? Boom. 
So we've got the bird seasoned, we've got it injected, and some of that seasoning on the outside will kind of wash off with that injection. But we're gonna touch all that up once we get it positioned on the grill. Today I'm smoking this turkey on my Memphis wood fire pellet grill. You can cook it on any grill, you just wanna hold those temps about 275 to 300 to get the skin just right and all that meat cooked at the same time. Let's go over to the pit. So I'm just gonna move the turkey right over here where we want it, get it spread out, laying flat, tuck the wings in so they stay nice and put. Now I'm just gonna touch up the season with a little of that extra Mississippi grind. And I'm gonna hit it with one last little spritz of olive oil. Now we're gonna shut the smoker down. I'm gonna let those pecan pellets do their job. We'll worry about internal temperatures here in a little while once we get into the cook a little bit. Y'all stick around. So we're an hour in the spatchcock turkey. This is when I wanna start basting it. And I've just taken some melted butter, about a stick, put in a few garlic cloves, a little bundle of poultry seasonings and warmed it up till it's melted. And you can see this turkey's getting some wonderful color to it. It's not getting too dark at all. It's got that pretty golden color from the Mississippi grind, that AP rub. And I'm not really gonna brush the outside of the skin. I'm just gonna drizzle some of this melted butter over it. You may not use all the butter. If you need more, just throw another stick in, melt it with the herbs, the garlic it'll be really good it's going to give the outside some color it's going to help it brown you know it's going to make it taste good just a light little butter glaze and at this point i'm also going to go ahead and start thinking about my internal temperature so i've got my thermoworks probe here and i'm going to go into the thick part of the breast not against the bone we're just going to go right in i'm going to hook it up to my signals this is the receiver for this thermal work meat probe and it can do four channels i'm only worried about the first channel you can see we're still only about 60 degrees it's cold outside it's about 37 for a high here today it's going to take this turkey a little while we were an hour in so we're going to close the smoker we're gonna get our Thermalworks signal set right at 165. And then we're just gonna sit back. We'll base it about 30 more minutes. Keep an eye on it. I don't want it to get too dark. Still running 300 degrees. We're just gonna cook it till it's done. All right, we're about two hours, 45 minutes into our spatchcock turkey. It's time to baste it again. And it is looking fantastic. I mean, we've got this beautiful crust going on the outside from those seasonings we put on it, from the butter we've been basting it with. It's sitting at about 147 internal. So I know we still got a little ways to go. When it starts getting the right color on the outside, we start to see the browning. This is where you want to talk about laying a little bit of aluminum foil over the top of it. It'll stop the browning process. It'll protect that beautiful crust we've made on it but I've got a little full. I'm just gonna kind of drape it over it. I'm not wrapping it up tight. I'm just putting it over the, around the bird a little bit just to shield it. That's all the full's doing. And we're gonna continue to let it cook, get the lid closed. As soon as we hit 165 internal, we'll be able to get this turkey off the grill. I've gotta try it. So we're at the three and a half hour mark and our thermal work signals just went off telling me we've hit 165. So I'm gloving up. I know it's gonna be time to get this turkey off the grill let's check it out we still had that full on it we didn't touch it since the last time we basted we're going to uncover it now and that thing is beautiful and i love the way that grind just gave that bird that golden brown color on the outside i mean i know that the skin's almost crunchy and to do that smoking a turkey is phenomenal i'm just going to slide a pizza peel underneath it right here and ease it up on it so we can pull this turkey over to the cut board Check that out, that's a big bird. Cooked perfectly. I can't wait to get into it. Let's take it over to the cutting board. So I let the turkey rest about five minutes and that's all I can take because it is cold out here. We're still only about 36 degrees with the wind chill. So it's like 24, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this turkey up. I'm ready to get inside. So I'm just gonna start, we're gonna take the legs off first. I kinda got it facing me so I can see it. I'll lay them off to the sides. Man. That looks phenomenal. Let's lay these drum quarters over. Look at that. Woo. Now we're gonna work on these wings. Let's get them off. There's one wing. Two wings. Now we're ready to work with the breast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it off the breastbone. Start right down the middle to the side of the bone, cut down, and then come right under. And let this breast fall right off. It's gonna leave a little bit on there. We can go back and get that. Do the same thing to this side. Find that breastbone, go down, and just let the knife work its way off. Take that breast right off. There's still some good meat on this carcass, so don't get rid of it. But I wanna carve some of this breast up and arrange it here for you so you can see how good it looks. 
mean, it's cooked through and through. It's got a ton of moisture in it from that injection, that butcher's bird booster. We got the grind on the outside. Man, things to be of it ain't gonna be the same. And I'm just cutting them into straight slices. You could carve this whatever size you like. To speed up our cooking process, if you're low on time or low on space in your smoker, we spatchcocked it. That's a great technique for cooking a turkey if you don't have a lot of time. Now that we've got it all carved up, just to add a little pop of flavor at the end, a little bit more of that butter we've had simmering, those poultry herbs, that garlic. But I'm gonna get this glove off, go in and get me a bite. I mean, check that out. That is beautiful. So tender. Mmm. Mmm. I've got Michael here with me. Hi. Try that. Tell me how good it is. Oh, this turkey right here is fantastic. I know y'all are going to love it Thanksgiving. So, Michael, how good is that turkey? Is it good? Really All right, good. thumbs up. Doesn't matter what seasonings you use on the outside or injections you put on the inside, get out there and smoke a turkey. It's really great coming off that pit, hot and fresh. Your friends and family are gonna love it this holiday season. Mike, I'm gonna save those turkey legs for you, but I gotta get me one more bite before we leave. Do you want one more? There you go. How good is that turkey, man? Oh. Best turkey I've ever had. High five. Thanks for checking us out today at How to Barbecue Right. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. We'll see y'all next time. Have a wonderful holiday season. And don't forget the podcast. We're going to recap everything we did this week at the end of the week. We'll see y'all.